Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to day 3 of our Getting Back On Track series. And today we will be doing legs, particularly our glutes, hamstrings, and quads. If you want to build a butt, lose weight, lose body fat, and get rid of that stubborn cellulite and build sexy legs, this is the workout for you. Before further ado, please don't forget to click on the like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell button as well so you will get notified whenever a new workout or a new video goes out so I will be showing you the proper way of doing each movement for beginners and also for my advanced friends out there who's starting now let's go before starting don't forget to do your warm-up static stretching to avoid getting injured I have that video up there and down on the description box first move squats I already discussed this on our first day on our full body day. The proper way of doing squats is to pretend that you're about to sit on a chair like this without putting your knee forward. Your knees should always be on top of your toes to avoid getting knee injuries. When you go down, just do a 90 degree angle and then go get up. Go down, get up. Make sure to push on your heels because when you push on your heels, that's when you are going to feel the movement on your glutes to make it stronger and to build muscles on that area to build bigger booty. Alright, that's movement number one for beginners. RDL, Romanian deadlifts. If you don't have dumbbells, no problem. You can always use a gallon of water or you can replace water with sand inside to make it heavier. For RDL, hold your weight on both hands and then lean forward and hinge on your hips. Make sure that your back is straight and neutral. Don't arch your back because that's when injuries happen. Go down, get up. Go down, get up. When you go up, push using your heels. And you will feel the movement on your glutes and your hamstrings. Bend your knees a little. Go forward, go up. That movement is good for your glutes and your hamstrings. These are your hamstrings. Third move is sumo squats. Make a sumo stance. No need to use any weight for beginners. And go down, just like squatting, but with wider legs. And you will feel this workout on your inner thighs. One. Again, your knees don't go forward, just over your toes. Your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width. One, two. Fourth movement, elevated backward lunges. Get a step that your entire foot will rest on top of it. And when you go down like this, your knee will go down as well. And then get up using your heel. 90 degree angle, get up. 90 degree angle, get up. Same on your other foot. Go down and your heels will bring you up. One. Two. Don't smash your knee on the floor. Just Tap your knee a bit on the floor, lightly. That's the fifth move. Alternating elevated backward lunges. One, two, three. Fifth move. Step ups, get a chair or a bench, and then same. Push on your heel, go up, and go down slowly with control. Get up, go down slowly with control. Same on your other leg. Get up, 
pushing on your heel. Go down slowly with control. We will be doing those movements for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Third move, get your improvised weights and hold it like this, just like you're praying. And then your, uh, your feet should just be shoulder width apart. And then make sure that your upper body is upright and then just like sitting, go down and then push on your heels. Don't arch your back. Your back should stay neutral. One. Two. Three. Four. Use a weight that is challenging yet manageable on the last three reps. Nine, move, get your mat, go down on your mat. Just like on your warm up, your feet should rest on the floor, and then your elbows should also rest on the floor, and your heels will bring you up. Push through your heel. Squeeze your butt on the top of your leg. And don't rest your butt on the floor. Keep the tension. One. Two, three, four. Keep a 90 degree angle on your lower legs. Four, five. That is how you do glute bridges. And our last move, jumping lunges. For beginners, you don't need to jump. Just do backward lunges without the steps because our elevated backward lunges, our fifth move, we will be using a platform. But for this last movement, just the floor and your own body weight. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do this. For beginners, you can just do 10 minutes of this workout. Just one set of the entire 10 exercises.
it's getting late now. For beginners, you can do just one round, 10 minutes. But for me, I will move on to two more sets of this exercise and then I'm done. Don't forget to do your cool down stretching or on the description. I will link it down below so that you will not feel sore on the following days to come. Make sure to properly do cool down static stretching. Thanks. Don't forget to click on the like, share, and subscribe. And see you on my next workout. Bye!